Tribune sports writer Chris Yukis, and I'm here with NT sports editor Kevin Klum and sports writer Jared Bell. And today on NT Prep Preview, we're going to take a look ahead at this weekend's prep basketball slate and preview boys wrestling. There's some key conference matchups this weekend in boys hoops with LP versus Ottawa, St. Pete hosting IVC, and Peoria Christian at Hall. Guys, these games could have a big impact on the league races, couldn't they? Well, yeah, I think LP Ottawa could definitely have a, a big impact on the Northern Illinois Big 12 West. I mean, LP is obviously one of the favorites after placing second last season, and Ottawa has some good players back and had a, a pretty good showing in their holiday tournament. So it should be a good game, and obviously LP Ottawa, it's, it's always a good matchup. And last year when they played in Ottawa, uh, Jen Soderholm hit a three-pointer at the buzzer to give LP the victory. So it should be a good one. But before the boys play uh, there, there's also going to be the girls game, LP versus Ottawa, which should be good as well. Well, when you talk about the Ottawa boys, I think they went 3-1 and one in their tournament and got fifth. A lot of times you don't see that. I think there was a, a three-way tie at the top at the 2-1 and one for their, their pool and ended up being the low team. So they very easily could have played for and potentially won their title. Um, like I said, you also have St. Bede and IVC at the academy. Um, you, you expect the, those two teams to be the top two teams in the conference. IVC got off to a great start last year in the game and in the season. Um, and ended up going pretty far in the postseason. St. Pete, you know, returns a couple starters, about three starters from last year's team, and it would be really good for them to kind of get off to the, the get the conference win um, and kind of get that lead early, so that way they're not chasing like they did last year when they lost at IVC. Um, and there's only what four conference games since there's three teams, so every conference game is a big deal in the NCIC. Then there's also Hall versus Peoria Christian. Peoria Christian, uh, you know, talking to coaches in the Tri County, they're the, the the definite favorite to win that conference. And, but Hall, you know, Hall has a pretty good team this year, especially with Fanning back, and he's had some big games so far. Where I saw him score 32 points twice already. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but they they also had a little bit of struggles at the Seneca tournament. They I think they only went one and three there. Um, so I mean, it could be a good matchup, but it, it's also going to be a tough one for Hall. Well, and one other thing too is somebody was telling me yesterday that. Peoria Christian might have the best player in the city of Peoria on their team. And you don't traditionally think of Peoria Christian having the best kid. It's usually one of the public schools. So, you know, and not only is Peoria Christian going to be good with all those kids coming back, but they also may have the best player in the entire Peoria area. Off the hardwood and onto the mats, Jared, who are some of the area grapplers to look out for this year for the prep wrestling season? Well, last year we had a lot of kids who were pretty good and didn't have as good a postseason as they might have hoped. And we only got one kid to stay, that being... LP's 120-pounder uh, Jacob Weaver. He's back this year. Um, he should hopefully get back to state and do more. He was a win away from placing um, and getting a state medal. You also have his teammate Riley Sweetland, who's another junior who's a lower weight. He's quite very quietly had a 30-win season last year, which I don't think too many people realize, but he was in a very, very tough weight class at a very, very tough uh, LP regional and did not make it out. He got fourth. You also have Ottawa's uh, Cyrano Rayfield, who is a 220-pounder. He he actually wrestled with a chance to go to state and was the alternate. Um, he, too, was a win away from state. You also have, you know, in addition to him, you have Daniel Close, a about 120, 126, maybe in the 130s uh, pounder for Ottawa. He actually beat Weaver last year a couple of times, and that says a lot because Weaver had a great season. So as a sophomore and a bigger sophomore, you know, a bigger build, he should hopefully have a great season. And you also have Mendota, uh, I think it's 120 pound this season for Jaron Robinson, uh, one of the few uh, sectional qualifiers for the Trojans last year. And, you know, he's one of the, uh, the big time wrestlers at Mendota. You don't get that a lot. You either get, you know, a football player or a basketball <laughs> player. He is a wrestler. He focuses on wrestling and it definitely shows. Another thing to watch out for on the mats this season will be the co-op between Putnam County and Hall High School. For the first time, the two schools will be combining to take on the area opposition on the mats. And now it's time for everybody's favorite segment of the week, NT Prep Preview Powerhouse Players. Roll that tape, hay fever. <laughs> Powerhouse, Powerhouse Players of the Week. Of the week. Of the week. <laughs> Powerhouse Players of the Week. Powerhouse Players of the Week. How's that? I don't know about you guys, but that's always my favorite segment of the entire <laughs> show. But sorry, Kevin, but that's that part gets me every time. <laughs> um, one of the top powerhouse players from last week was St. Beat Big Man Joe Pishka in helping the Bruins to three victories at Cole City and also the tournament title. He averaged a double-double, had about 16 or 17 points a game, 
as well as about 10 or 11 rebounds. Um, really stepped up big and, and you know, no pun intended, big, but <laughs> he's a big for the Bruins. Yeah, the 6'7", he's pretty big. <laughs> yeah. And we also have uh, Putnam County Junior Harold Fay, the youngest of the Fay brothers, and and he's really uh, stepped up so far in his junior season in the Wethersfield tournament. He's averaged 19.2 points per game in five games with a high game of 28 points, and he was on the all-tournament team for the Panthers. Speaking of the Wethersfield Wally Keller Invitational, our last NT Prep Preview Powerhouse player is Bureau Valley sophomore Parker Newhoffen. Peter Parker, as he's known in the NT Sports <laughs> Department, had a big tournament at Wethersfield as well, earning all-tournament status. He capped off the tournament with a 20-point outing against Putnam County to help the Storm finish third overall. Thanks for watching NT Prep Preview, and check us out next week where we'll have more on basketball and other area sports at www.newstrip.com backslash sports. <laughs> there you go, guys.